If you're a musician on Twitch, then you should really be using a website called Streamer Songlist. Streamer Songlist, in my opinion, is the best place to store all of your songs into a simple set list. In this video, I'm going to teach you exactly how to categorize your songs on Streamer Songlist. This is also called adding song attributes. Why would you want to categorize your songs on Streamer Songlist? Well, having your songs categorized properly just makes it a lot easier for your viewers to choose songs quickly. Also, adding song attributes or folders, tabs, filters, categories, whatever you want to call them, it just makes your song list look a lot more professional. Before we get into the video, I just want to say that we now have the Leon Bratt merch store up and running. This, what I'm wearing right now, is the Dreadphone T in grey. I like it. Super, super comfortable. Very, very nice. <laughs> Link to that is in the description. All right, let's go. Let's jump onto the PC and let's get started. Okay, so now we're onto the PC. The first thing that we're going to do is come over to streamersonglist.com and get yourself signed in. Once you're signed in, just go to top right once again and click on view my Twitch song list. Okay, so instantly you can see that I have all of these song attributes added up here. You've got six tabs up here as well. New is always there unless you turn off that one. Um, but I've added loops, bangers, originals, vibes and emo. This is how I've got mine set up with some little pictures. You can add just the words instead. If I go over to Matt Walden's song list, you can see that he has just got just the text just here. And if I go to Big Chili Chills song list, you can see that he has got a mixture of the lettering and, <laughs> and the pictures as well. Now to find the song attributes, all you need to do is click over on settings, come down to song attributes. Once you're on this page, all you need to do is come up to the top left hand corner here and click on the plus icon. And then you're going to put the name of the category or the song attribute up here. So let's say chilled and then the order is as you can see this number here this goes one two three four five i'm going to select six we're going to leave song ordering off you can click on these to find out a little bit more about what these do but i'm just going to leave a song ordering off i'm going to click enable on show in song queue rows i'm going to leave this one enabled as well show in filter selector and then I'm going to disable override new attribute. This just means that when you have a new song added to your song list, the new tab will always be on the left hand side. And then I'm just going to leave this one active here. So it's actually going to show up as an active song attribute. For the song restrictions, I'm going to leave these all disabled and this zero. So let's click on save. We have now got a chilled category or song attribute added. And to check this, we can just click on the songs tab on top left. And here you can see it says chilled. So the next thing we're going to want to do is actually add the songs to the category. So let's say, I don't know, Amy Winehouse Valerie, that'll do for now. We're going to click on this one. Make sure you're in edit mode on the left hand side. Click on this one and then click on edit second tab along and now here you can see it says attributes click on attributes and then you can scroll down click on chilled or whichever one you want it to go into you can do multiple if you want to as well uh, but for now i'm just going to click on chilled and then click on save now you can see that that has auto populated that there if i click on this just to make some more songs appear you can actually say if you want to click on i don't know pompeii ain't no sunshine bad touch Blowing in the wind. Say all of these are going to be in the chilled category. You can select each one you want. Go back up to the top, click on edit, and then we're going to leave this blank and just come down to the attribute section. Click on here and click chilled. And then all you need to do is click on save. And those ones have been added. I would recommend doing one category at a time. So you can say, for instance, I've got all my loop pedals here. I went through every single page, clicked each one, say all the loop ones, say this was a loop, 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 loop. And then go up to the top, click on edit, add that as the loop category or song attribute. And then that'll just make it a little bit quicker to go through. And then you go through, say the next one, bangers, or you go through originals, go through vibes and it just makes it a lot easier for you to do it that way. So you could now essentially leave those song attributes like that if you just wanted the text at the top. But what we're going to do now is we're actually going to go through how to upload an image. And if you are finding value within this video already, then please do smash that like button. Let's go. Okay, so now we want to add a little icon to go just in here. All I've done is a very quick Google search to do with chilled. I ended up having to search chill zone and we're going to use one of these. Say, let's use, let's use this one. 
So let's right click and save image as. And we're just gonna save that into the folder. Now I'm gonna be using Photoshop for this method, but you can do this on Canva, Paint, whatever you wanna do, as long as you can put in the correct size and you can get rid of the background and save it as a PNG file. That's all you need to worry about. So we're gonna open a new document and we're gonna put the width as 416 pixels and the height is 416 pixels as well. I'm just gonna put the resolution at 300. I did have a few problems with this when I first started to upload song attributes. The images weren't going in for some reason. This is the size that works for me. This is the size that's been working, so I'm not gonna change anything. Just copy the settings, just copy the settings. We're just gonna drag in the image that we've just got. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take away this outline here. I, this probably isn't a great example, actually, but I'm just gonna do that anyway. So I'm gonna take out the first bit there. You can do this by clicking on the eraser, come down to Magic Eraser Tool, and then you can just click Get Rid of the Background there. And then come over to the right hand side, click get rid of the background. I'm actually gonna make this a little bit bigger so it fits the screen just like that. So next we're gonna save this as a PNG file. All of the ones that you can see on here, they have actually got backgrounds taken out of them. So they're probably a better example than the block one, but you get the idea, it's exactly the same thing. So let's go ahead and save that. Save as a PNG and we're just gonna put chilled just like that and let's go back over to stream song list and get this uploaded okay so once you've got your file ready to go and your picture all you need to do is click on the chilled or whichever one you're changing click on edit at the top click on image and then click on the one that you want to go in there click on open and click save and here you go that's now come up saying chill zone if we go back over to the songs list then you've got chill zone just here and oh look, all of these have changed as well. Also, if you wanted to add a new song with attributes straight away, all you need to do is click on create new song up top in the songs list. And then your title of your song will go here and then artist. And all you need to do is click on the attributes and add whichever ones you want. Click on create. And then if we search that song, which is song, you'll see that automatically you've got the new category, got originals, vibes, and chilled, the ones that we added when we first put the song in. And if you want to filter through the songs or your viewers want to filter through the songs, all they need to do is click on one of these tabs up here and you can see that these are all the emo songs that we have. So there we go, it's literally as simple as that. That is how to add song attributes to stream a song list, just to make your stream and your song list look much, much, much more professional. If you did enjoy that and it did help you out, then please do smash that like button as hard as you can and subscribe down below for more content like this every single week. And don't forget, go and check out the merch, baby. <laughs>